Look at that bird. Oh my god, the bird just ate it. Oh my god, that's what the f So the biggest change for me from the last season of Geordie Shaw is now I'm in a full-blown relationship, which I never thought I would be. It's a bit mental thinking about it, to be honest with you. First impressions of Australia is a bit of a weird one. I thought I'd be greeted with snakes and spiders. I haven't seen anything yet. The weather's better though. There's quite a difference in the appearances from the lads over here to Newcastle. Everybody here looks after themselves and you don't really see loads of people sat in Greg's over here having pasties. My favourite new word that I've learned since being in Australia is crikey. I can't stop saying it. Wow, that was a crikey night. The best thing for me about being down under is definitely the weather. I love the sun and over here it's absolutely boiling all of the time. The worst thing down here is the time difference to England. When we wake up, England's asleep. I don't get to talk to anybody. Who can drink more? 110% Geordies can drink better than Australians. Nick on the first night couldn't even keep up till we got to the club. He was absolutely mortal. Definitely, definitely the best hangover cure in Australia is to go straight down the beach, get in the sea and have a surf. It actually works. I've done it. I don't really get hungover, but the one morning I was, I went straight to the sea. Felt miles better straight away. The scariest thing I've seen since been in Australia is definitely Chloe on the morning when she wakes up. I 100% would move to Australia. The weather's perfect, the nights out are unbelievable and the beaches are absolutely to die for. Believe it or not, I was actually meant to move to Australia in December. I had a rigging job sorted in Perth in the mines, but obviously that's on the back burner because, oh, I'm doing this. Oh no, oh no.